There's no argument that everybody longs to improve their circumstances, particularly when life feels like it's going downhill. This is especially true for individuals who've grown up in tough neighborhoods, like the projects or ghettos. They're consistently trying to rise above their challenging situations. However, life often gives these individuals, especially the talented ones, a chance to break away from such circumstances. Take, for instance, a young man originally known as Travel Gerald Coleman. Recognizing the need for a stage name, he became known as G. Depp, standing for Ghetto Dependent. Because G. Depp came from a troubled upbringing, his rapping skills were his golden ticket, and for once in his life, G. Depp had the opportunity to make millions. But as we all know, life doesn't always go as planned. Despite his talent and potential, things didn't work out as smoothly for G. Depp. Life threw its share of curveballs and his truth came to light. So, today we're gonna be discussing the career of G Depp and we're gonna discuss what happened to the man. Let's begin. What up, guys? Ali here and welcome to Ali Talks Music. Add me on Instagram at Ali Talks Music as well. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now, let's get into the video. G. Depp's first taste of success came around 1996 and 1997 when he dropped a couple of singles with Tape Kings. But the real change came right after this when he was discovered by Black Rob who introduced him to P. Diddy. And from there he signed a five album deal with Bad Boy Records. That got the ball rolling with some big collaborations and career growth. Black Rob for instance recognized G. Depp's talent and the pair worked together on a couple of projects, like appearing on Black Rob's 1999 debut album, Life Story. Thought I heard some. Last cat that I heard from, burnt up herb hunt, work cause Despite his humble beginnings, G. Depp, a Harlem-born rapper, made his mark with his debut album, Child of the Ghetto, around 2001. The album hit number 106 on the Billboard 200 and propelled G. Depp into the spotlight. Two singles were released from the album, namely Let's Get It and Special Delivery, the latter of which came out around 2002. Now after his album performed very poorly according to Bad Boy standards, G Depp was dropped from the label. But he did not stop there. He kept his fans on the edge of their seats, wondering what was coming next. Then around 2007, he came back with his next album, Bad Boy. His album was released independently. It was a collab album with another fallen Bad Boy artist, Loon, and featured musicians such as Styles P and Genuine. Now because G-Dub did not have the bad boy machine working behind him, this album was definitely a flop. Instead of dropping singles that hit the charts like his previous album, this one made a limited amount of noise and was forgotten very quickly. Now when talking about how P Diddy let him go, G-Dub said the following. He called and said, meet me at the studio we need to talk now when someone is in a relationship and their partner says these forbidden four words we need to talk it usually means they're about to discuss something serious or the relationship is about to end in this case it was the latter g depp then said he was going through a rough time and had to make decisions he had to cut off some loose ends and I was just one of them. Now after leaving Bad Boy Records and dropping an album that flopped, G. Depp began struggling to make ends meet. He also had multiple run-ins with the law. From around 2003 onwards, G. Depp was arrested more than 23 times for things such as drug offenses, burglary, and grand larceny. According to G. Depp, not being able to sell a lot of records on Bad Boy and being shelved by Diddy caused him to lose a lot of momentum in his life. According to him, he needed money to feed his children and he was going to do so by any means necessary. So, in an effort to do so, around 2010, G. Depp dropped another album called Ghetto Legend. The album featured fellow rap stars like Rakim 
and Cool G Rap and was launched through Famous Records. Here's what G Depp had to say about his new label. I am thrilled that I finally chose Famous Records as my new label and I am quietly confident that with Mr. Collins's vast experience in the music industry that Famous will be my home for some time to come. Only good things will come from this move. Now around that same time period, g Dub's career and life took a very drastic turn. Life's twists and turns can be unpredictable and g Dub's journey is a testament to that. Even with rehab stints and attempts to shake off his past, no one saw his next move coming. In a shocking twist, g Dub walked into the 25th precinct, confessing to a cold case from around 1993. He admitted to being the shooter in an unsolved incident. If you had it to do over again, knowing that you would go to jail for a long time, would you still confess? I would do it again. I would, you know what I mean? Because it was, I don't think there was no other way around it except me, me dying. But to understand this, we need to rewind a bit. Back around 1993, G Depp was hustling in Harlem, living with his grandma after ditching college. He had dreams of being a rap star and told his mom he was all in, but making it big was not easy. To get by, he sold some drugs. His first big earnings, $500, which he used to buy a gun. The rest went to recording sessions. But a month shy of turning 19, things took a very dark turn for G Depp. In a bid for very quick cash, g Depp tried to mug a stranger. When the man resisted, g Depp fired three shots. The next day, when questioned by the police, he played dumb, but the weight of his actions bore down on him. His mom noticed he wasn't his usual self. He dove into his career, but the guilt lingered. He even tried to convince himself the man had survived. His drug use, especially PCP, might have been a way to cope, but it only fueled his paranoia. Fast forward to December 15, 2010, G Depp, burdened by guilt, turned himself in. He wanted to give the victim's family closure, though G Depp initially pleaded not guilty. He was later convicted and sentenced to 15 years to life around May of 2011. This kind of confession, especially after so many years, is rare in the music world. In an interview, g Depp said his confession was about making things right with God. g Depp's past weighed heavy on him. The guilt from his actions pushed him into addiction, crime, and even left him broke and back in the projects. But when he tried to find peace by confessing, the reaction he got was not what he hoped for. In response, the victim's stepbrother had some words for g Depp. He said the following, I think he's an idiot. He has three kids and a wife. It was years and years and years ago. Finally, we're not always thinking about it, and now it has to be dug up all again. It makes you wonder, was g Depp wrong to confess to a crime from so long ago? In my opinion, g Depp did the right thing. He was clearly tormented by the mistake he made years ago, and he suffered mentally as a result. Not only that, he began taking drugs to curb the pain, but despite consuming so many substances, g Depp could not let things go. From his perspective, he probably had no choice but to turn himself in in order to free his mind from the guilt. So yes, g Depp did the right thing. He gets heaps of respect and admiration from me for admitting his mistakes and fixing them. Heaps of respect. I mean, if I was stuck in his position and felt the weight of the world on my shoulders because I got away with a crime, hey, I would probably keep my mouth shut and tell no one. I mean, there are no women in prison, man. That's all I need to know. I went towards Park Avenue and I saw a guy standing there. Uh, more like he was smoking a cigarette or something like that. And uh, I, I just uh, approached him. I got off the bike and I approached him. He didn't seem like he saw me, so you know, I just approached him. And then when I, when I approached him, I asked him where the money was. Now after confessing, g Depp felt like a weight had been lifted. He described it as ending a 17-year nightmare, hinting at a desire for a fresh start. In Depp's own words, he said the following. It seemed like it just wasn't fair for me to be happy. I used to curb my happiness, you know, like just 
huh, wait a minute. I'm smiling too much. I'm laughing too much. I felt like I couldn't really tell anybody. I didn't want them to be involved. Now in a weird turn of events, g Depp managed to find some sort of happiness while he was in prison. He married his girlfriend, Letitia Evans, and wrapped his vows to her. Together, they worked in the documentary No Ordinary Love. Letitia also revealed that while g Depp was locked away, many of his close friends and affiliates turned their back on him. The rap game is known to shun snitches, but since g Depp snitched on himself, does it really count? Now, there's hope on the horizon. g Depp could be out on parole by 2025 at the age of 51. Some wonder if his remorse might pave the way for a brighter future. But there are those that believe g Depp's career, especially in the music industry, might be over. g Depp's previous albums did not do big numbers. And he was also dropped from Bad Boy Records. So there's a chance that by the time g Depp gets out of prison, most people would have moved on. Some say g Depp played second fiddle, focusing more on boosting Diddy's career than his own. As a result, g Depp did not quite make a big name for himself and he completely ruined his own momentum when he confessed to a crime and went to prison. At the end of the day, g Depp's conscience is clear. He feels like he's paying for his crimes and I guess to him having peace of mind is priceless. g Depp gets about 70,000 monthly listeners on Spotify and his most popular songs are Special Delivery, Let's Get It, Special Delivery Again, the saga continues and every day. That's it for me, it's your boy Ali. What happened to G Depp in your opinion? Let me know down below. Also, add me on Instagram at Ali Talks Music. Till next time, peace. Perfect.